Hello Braves and welcome to registration. Today you're going to learn how to register in the Synergy system and Mr. Bloomfield, Mrs. Wiggins, Ms. Peterson, Mrs. McCann, and Mr. Condra will be helping you walk through what you need and how to do this. Hi Braves, this is Mr. Canberra. I'm responsible for the students, the last name L-I through O-Z. Uh, I wanted to share with you again that the course catalog is online, a PDF version of it. Uh, how you access that is going to the Bethel School District website. While there, you'll want to click on Programs and Descriptions, then click on Teaching and Learning, and then click on High School Course Catalog. Or as an alternate, you could uh, once this presentation is available to you, you could uh, copy and paste that link into the browser that's available on the slide, and it'll take you directly to the catalog. Uh, while there, things to look for would be making sure that uh, the course is available for your grade level, uh, that you've taken the prerequisites necessary to access the course, uh, the credits that are going to be earned for a specific area for the course, and then the description itself. Uh, also, please be advised that uh, though we have all these courses in this catalog, doesn't mean that we at uh, Bethel will offer uh, just everything you're seeing there. Okay, so be careful. Uh, with your catalog in hand, you should be able to advise yourself well on the appropriate courses that are going to take care of your requirements and hopefully keep you interested as you carry on here at Bethel High School. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Peterson and I work with students with the last names GU through LE. By now, you should have received your link to the Google survey in your student email and have already filled it out. As a reminder though, if you haven't, this is the form you use to choose your classes prior to registering. It shows you all your course options and has that link to the district course catalog for more information if you need it. And don't forget, it needs to be filled out completely before you submit. When you've completed the form, you get a copy of it in your email. And this is an example of what it will look like when it's filled out. Hi Braves, I'm Mrs. McCann, working with the students CL through GR. Using your four-year plan can also be a tool that you use while selecting your courses for next year. If you've had an opportunity to fill in the courses into the previous year's boxes of the courses that you've already taken and passed, and you've had time now to add those that you want to take during the rest of your time here at Bethel. These are the courses that you are going to add to the course request tab. Remember what Ms. Wolf shared. This is a working document. You can change or alter your plan at any time. This document helps you plan backwards. If you know you want to take a specific class and it has prerequisites, it helps you plan out a pathway to take the courses you want. If you have any questions about your four-year plan, we will be happy to give you options or information during our open Zoom sessions. Hi Braves, Mrs. Wolf, and I handle all students with the last names P through SO. Here are the course selection sheets and these course selection sheets are specific to grade level. Here are, is the seniors, juniors, and sophomores. These course selection sheets are on our website. M make sure you refer to these course selection sheets when you're choosing your classes, because remember, this is what is offered at Bethel High School. If you find a course in the course catalog and it is not on one of these sheets, it is either not your grade level or it is not offered at Bethel High School. So be sure to refer to these sheets as you are choosing your classes in Student View on Synergy. Hi everyone, Mrs. Wiggins, working with students last name A through CI. You will now be watching a video on how to register in Student View within Synergy. The video demonstrates the individual working off of a Word document with a list of classes. You will be working off the information you entered on the Google survey you took around February 4th. An email with the responses was sent to you once you completed the form. Remember, you need to choose 15 trimester classes to fill your schedule, which includes the A and B sections of classes as well as one trimester class. So as you look back on your four-year plan, you will be entering what you had placed into each box, five boxes per trimester for 15 total. 
And now for the video. Hello, my name is Abigail. In this video, I will show how to select classes for the next year within my Student View account. I've already picked my classes for all trimesters, plus some alternate alternates just in case I don't get my first choice. They are all listed here on the left. Now that my list is complete, I can go to my Student View account to select them. Find the tab on the left that says Course Requests. You can see on this tab, there is a blue box at the top. This box might have important instructions from the school, so be sure to read it. Also, pay close attention to the dates listed in yellow on the right. You have to finish your class selection by this date. After that, the class request will be locked in and can't be changed. You will see any courses already selected here on this page. For most of us, it will be blank at first. Click the blue button that says click here to change course request. On the next screen, there may be another blue box with additional messages from the school. You should see a grid with courses instead listed called search courses. To find my first course, I will enter part of the name in the course tile column to the right of the magnifying glass. As I type letters, the list filters to classes with those letters. Aha! I see my first few classes here. I will be taking algebra and to select the algebra class for all three trimesters, I click the add request button on the left. The classes I choose show up at the top of the screen. Oops, I see I've accidentally added one of the classes twice. That's okay. I can remove it from the list by clicking the button that says remove. Now I'll add the rest of my list. I finished adding my first choices and now I should add several alternate choices. For this step, I select the add alternate button. There. I want to take one last look at my classes to make sure I haven't missed anything. If I change my mind later, I can come back to this screen and make changes as long as they're done before the deadline. Remember, that's the date in the yellow box. No need to click a save button. Actually, there is no save button. The classes are saved immediately. I'm all done. Hey, that was easy. Now it's your turn. Thanks for watching. Hey Braves, Mr. Bloomfield here, working with the bottom of the alphabet, SP through Z. We hope this video was helpful for figuring out how to get all set for next year. If you have any questions, please come to our Zoom session on the 10th. It'll happen after first period. Um, your first period teacher will have our Zoom links so you can find us. And also feel free to email your counselor or Ms. Gallagher for help. Make sure you get all of your course requests into your Student View account by the 17th. You won't be able to make any changes after that date. And if you don't put in requests, then we'll put you in random thanks. And you could find yourself studying something like whale psychology. You don't want that. We don't want that. So take care of business now and set yourself up for a great year. Um, actually, whale psychology does sound kind of cool and I kind of wish we actually did have that as a class. What do whales dream of? What do the dreams mean? Will we ever really know? Until then, stay beautiful, stay classy, and we're looking forward to seeing you all again real soon.